Hi, welcome back. Now this is part two of the snake tutorial and let's get back into coding and before I start coding uh, Please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, it would help me a lot if you guys would uh, um, like and subscribe to the content and now let's start Okay, so This is where we left off and um, Let's see Let's continue to code Let's start coding graphics. Uh, actually, before we do that, we want to add. Uh, we need to uh, add key listener to our uh, to our game class. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna implement key listener. So key listener. What it does is that it will uh, record uh, every time when you press a key, it will uh, it will uh, activate a function. So this is why it meant. You see, there's a red line right here. Simply just say app on implemented method, and it will automatically add these three methods down here. And you need all three of these methods in order for a uh, key listener to work. Um, but we only gonna be using key pressed. So what key pressed mean is that. Uh, so when this when you create this when you create this game object what it does is that it would uh, every time when you press a key it would uh, it will call this function and then whatever is inside would uh, run but we would not need key type because we only need to press the key so we would uh, just ignore the others and uh, we just gonna focus on key press so what we do when we uh, to get a key press is that we uh, what we can do we say we create a variable called key code and we set it equal to e dot uh, get uh, get key code. So basically, when you pressed, what it's gonna do is that uh, it's gonna um, store the key code into your uh, into this integer variable, and then we're gonna do comparison. So basically. Um, I want to say if key code dot equal equals to uh, if we press the W, which means that uh, up, so the snake will go up. So equal equals to um, key event dot v k slot underscore W capitalize W. So that is uh, an if statement asking if the key press that you pressed is equal to W, then the snake is gonna go up. And let's uh, copy and paste this. And The last one would just be else, and uh, for these will be s down and uh, eight for left. The last one will be right. Okay, so right now what we're gonna put inside of these if statements is that we want to move the snake. So remember that when you play snake, um, the snake doesn't move when you press it, right? It only uh, moves it moves automatically, and your press is just changing the direction. So what we're gonna do is that uh, we're gonna create a, a string variable in our snake. We're gonna call it move, and we're gonna make it private. And we want to make a, and we want to start off when the snake just created. The move is gonna be equal to uh, nothing. So for this move it's gonna it's gonna have it's basically a uh, indication of direction so it's gonna have uh, start off nothing and then when it start moving it's gonna have either up um, down left or right okay so so what we want to create is that we want to create a function All right uh, we want to make it public public void up 
even when it up is call uh, move is gonna e equals to up and we're gonna make one for each direction oh, oh my my bad And now, so basically in the in the uh, game class, we're just gonna do a uh, player dot up and player dot down, player dot left, and player dot right. So this will change the direction of the uh, stake and basically uh, basically this is what it's gonna do and so basically when you start off it's gonna have nothing so um, so yeah this is good so um, now what we want to do is that we want to uh, uh, start off our graphics class so for our graphics class, what we want to do is that we want to extend. Uh, we want to extend um, J panel as well as implements. Oh my God! Okay, implements. Uh, what's it called? Uh, action listener. And we want to import both these. And we need to add on implement the method for our J panel. So for your uh, sense, I should know for our action listener. So for same thing as um, key listener, uh, action listener, you ha you must have this function in order for action listener to work. And I'll explain what action listener is. So action listeners is basically uh, you think of it kind of like draw, like you know how like when you do animation, it's like every frame. You're uh you're redrawing the uh the the background and the everything, so basically action listener is kind of like that. So what we want to do is that we want to create a timer, so private timer equals uh we want to call it t equals to new timer, uh and we want to fire a hundred milliseconds one uh once per hundred millisecond, and we want to import this. We're on swing and we have this timer and then in our public in our I mean our public constructor uh, we're gonna we're just gonna start the timer so basically uh, so basically when the timer starts uh, the it's gonna so every 100 milliseconds it's gonna uh, draw the the background everything again and and to draw it we need to do the J panel so you need to create a function called public uh, void uh, paint component uh, and then it imports graphics G and basically what you want to do with this is that you want to call super which is you're calling the parent class of jpanel super um, dot paint component g um, so it has a red line right there because you wanna you wanna instead of doing it like this you wanna actually you wanna do it like this so you wanna say java dot awt dot dot graphics now now it it likes it this more. It likes this this way better. And um, what we want to do after this is that we want to change our uh, graphics, you know, G graphics into a graphics 2D because we want to draw because we're drawing 
uh, in 2D. So it will be 2D. So we're going to cast it into 2D. So graphics 2D. We're going to call it G2D equals to graphics 2D G. And we're going to import it. Okay. Now what we want to do is that we uh now this is where you so basically what the graphics class does is that it every 100 millisecond is going to call action perform and in action perform we want to repaint repaint the uh, background which will be calling this function right here when you call repaint you're basically calling paint component and then it's going to draw stuff in here and uh since there's a big uh, starting st starting stage uh running stage and the end stage for our game because you know when the before the game start we want to you know create like a press to continue start and uh and then we then go into the game stage and then the end when you die is going to switch to a background saying how much score you have so what we want to do we, we want to create a a string a, a state well I'm just gonna make it public, public string state, and um, we're gonna start off. The state is gonna be um, starting off. State is going to be um, uh, start. And um, and we also need our objects because we need to paint the snake. Oh. And we also need the food. And we also need. We're also gonna take in a game, the game object. And um, so for our graphics, what we want to do is that we want to import the game actually. So we want to do game G, and uh, we're gonna set game equals to G, and we want to set our player uh, player or s snake equals to G dot get. We haven't we haven't created a getter and setter for our player yet, so we want to do that. Let's go to game source getters and setter we're gonna get one for our food player maybe window and we want to do it after uh, our in the in the very end so yeah there we go and uh, we want to go back to our graphics and we want to do g dot get player and then um, food f equals to g dot get food now what we want to do is that we want to we need to add a key listener to our uh, game. So um, what we need to do is that we need to uh, say this dot add key listener to our uh, what's it called our game. So we're gonna make our game object uh, uh, add a key listener to our game object so that our game object can actually listen to key because right now it doesn't Be before we add this line it doesn't and we also want to set focusable to true and we want to set this uh, focus traversal key set equals to false actually not key set my bad it's the other one set set uh, focus Traversal key enabled false. Yeah, it's pretty long. Anyways, um, so basically, oh, this is red line right here. Uh, what is it asking? Uh, oh, I didn't. Okay, now now it's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, anyways, um, 
this is this is the this is the first uh, based of our uh, graphics and now what we want to do is that we want to uh, further our uh, snake so we want to actually make our snake move all right because that's pretty important so as you can see right now uh, it's 50 minutes into the video and then it might be too long so what i want to do right now is that i will uh, leave it here and then i'll start coding the snake in the next episode and to continue on to our uh, code and finish this and um, please like and subscribe to the channel i'm sorry that if i type too slow sometimes or i sometimes just expl explain something that, that confuses you just leave a question in the comment section and i'll for sure answer them and if you have anything about coding in general i'll put them in the comment section uh, i'll make sure i'll answer them and um leave a like on the video please all right thank you and uh stay tuned for the next one